Hello, my name is Scott Minnis and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond20. Um, today I'm going to be talking about ShareWell content upgrades. With version 9.6 being released, um, ShareWell has greatly changed the look and feel of the ShareWell environment. Because of this, customers that have never done a content upgrade before are looking to get the new content within 9.6, specifically the look and feel, which looks like this for the incident object. ShareWell has redone most of the major business objects to have this sort of interface. Content upgrades are something that customers to date have not done too often as they've not normally been required. Primarily, customers have been keeping up to date on platform version, which is the application version of the tool. However, they've kept with their old content. Content upgrades are necessary because normally when you upgrade your environment, you're not getting the new content within ShareWell. You're getting the capability to add the content, but the content itself is not there. This is done in order to prevent upgrades from overriding any customization or configuration that you have in the system. To do a content upgrade to 9.6, the most important thing is making sure you identify what fields you have and what items you have that have been customized that need to be brought over to the new system. So what we're doing with these set of maps is simplifying the content upgrade process. Within the maps, the fields, the workflows, the expressions and the themes that are needed for the 9.6 content have been added into this map so that you can apply this map and then from there upgrade the content of your environment. As you see here, I've actually added the content in a different tab to prevent overriding the default form. So what happens after applying the new content, um, configuration is required to make that your default form and then bring over any custom fields that are required um, based off what has been configured in your system to date. Um, the most important thing to remember with content upgrades is what content you're bringing over. It's impossible to just scour ShareWell and say bring all new content over for 9.6 and older, um, as every customer has a different content version. Your content version might be 9.5.3. It might be 5.01. Um, depending on your content version, upgrading your content version can be either relatively straightforward or extremely complex. Some of the key things to notice in the 9.6 content um, in the incident objects, for example, there's no longer a short description field. So within the objects, they've started to get rid of a lot of fields um, that until recently has been in every version of ShareWell. As a whole, this isn't a big deal when you upgrade as the field already exists in your system and it will not be deleted. However, those fields will no longer be on the form. If you need them, you'll need to make sure you add those fields to the form during the upgrade. The other important thing to remember is after a content upgrade, other things in the system will need to be configured. For example, the space for specifics is now over here within the incident object. Uh, most customer specifics are wider than this box. So either you'll need to change the size of this box or reconfigure specifics objects. Um, so Beyond the content upgrade itself, it has a lot of implications to other areas in your system that will need to be configured to make everything look and function properly. If you're considering doing a content upgrade, um, I highly suggest you talk to someone who's done it before or contact Beyond 20 and we can walk you through what's involved with a content upgrade and assist you with that as needed. And finally, within the content version 9.6, the visual look and feel of objects have been updated for incident, change, problem, customer internal, knowledge, and all of the out-of-the-box configuration items. Any major business objects or business objects that need to be configured outside of this list, it would be more of a custom content upgrade. This would mean rebuilding the forms to match the look and feel of the new 9.6 content. Sherwell has also replaced all of the standard out-of-the-box dashboards such as the My Work dashboard with a newer version that is much cleaner compared to the older version. 
This, for example, is the new version of the My Work dashboard. It's much cleaner and has more data that is directly related to an engineer and the work they do. The global dashboard as well has been redesigned to give more meaningful metrics that can be used by your IT managers. It's important to remember when doing a content upgrade, if you're bringing in these widgets, most of these widgets are out-of-the-box widgets that have existed since before version 9.6. This could overwrite widgets that you, your team has made changes to and that are used on other dashboards. Um, in this case, applying the new content widgets, if done incorrectly, will overwrite all of the widgets in your current environment, causing other dashboards to no longer show the data you think it's showing. As your company prepares to um, perform a content upgrade or is looking into a content upgrade, um, I highly recommend making sure you understand all the implications involved as well as the level of effort. Um, if you have any questions or would like to speak with us, um, our contact information is on the Beyond 20 YouTube page. Uh, thank you for your time.